Hi there guys, my name is iPlayARG and I'm going to be talking about the Rocket Puppeteer's new game called Pilot Eyes. Basically, it's a spot the difference. You just have to find whatever differences and do them as fast as you can. So, I'm just at the first part of the video, I'm going to be um telling you where the differences are and then after that, I'm going to show you a technique that will get you the highest score possible. So, let's get started. This is the stars. Now these are pretty easy, especially when you try to do them fast. The first one is right here, then these two at the top, uh, the star above the bottom one, and this one here. And there is actually a cluster of stars here, which are missing over here. It was quite difficult to find this one, so yep, just right there. Okay, the next one is engine. Okay, it's right here to the left, then this thing here, this little cog thing or whatever it is, uh, this here. Uh, cap here and this rod. Okay, the next one. Uh, these two are actually really close together and they do overlap, so be careful when you're trying to do this really fast. So here and here. This is actually a different color. And this uh, here and the C over here, the E, and this island or something. Okay, we have the wedding ring the um whatever this is uh the pole these two things here uh this frame above the doorway and this thing over the guy's head okay we got this annoying kid and we have the wheel this bush here this tree branch at the top the tree missing here the sleeve and the shadow Okay, in this one we get uh, this bolt, another bolt. Uh, this one you got to be really careful because actually it's really small and you've got to look. If you just click over here, it doesn't detect it. So this here is actually shorter in this picture, and we have this here, uh, this shadow or something, and this. Okay, we got the the thing at the top of the flagpole, uh, the clouds, the chimney and whatever this is and this shadow and this one's actually pretty difficult it's actually this piece of dirt that's missing I didn't realize I thought that was part of the lamp shadow so I took me ages to find it so it's actually this okay this residential house is everyone had quite a lot of difficulty with when I talked to them so it's uh, this here uh, this side path the uh, branch thing tree um, and also this is a wire or something, and that's missing. It's quite hard to see. I don't know why they did that one. And this and this car. Okay, for this next part, I'm going to show you how exactly to get the best score. And this is basically done by getting a routine and just keep following that routine of clicks. And eventually, you won't even look at the objects. You'll just look at uh, the way, the position in which you're clicking. Okay, I'll show you guys what I mean. Now this first one, uh, we're going to go into Z, because uh, that's the, the best way i found to do it. So we start at the top, then go down, to the left, to the right, down and up. And uh, usually that will get you a good score. Obviously I'm not doing it as fast as possible because I want to show you guys. Okay, in this one you want to try and do a little box. So start at the right, go to the left, go up, back to the right, and then just click those two very fast okay we're gonna start at this thing so we click here uh, we go to the left go down to the nozzle to the left again down to the rod and then right to the cap okay this one kinda of does like a circle motion so we start from the wheel uh, go to the branch up left to the shirt to the shadow Okay, this one as well, it kind of has like a circular motion, so we start from the left, go to the right, right, up, left, left. 
this one, uh, pretty much all of them kind of have like a circular motion. So we're going to start these two very fast, this one, this one, and then these two very quickly. Okay, same again, circular motion. So we start from uh, this one right here, and then we go to the right, up, to the C, to the E, and down. Okay, this this one took me some time to figure out a way, but after you find the way, this one is actually the easiest one to do. So we start from this star because it's the brightest. You can see it's the most apparent, and it'll help you when you start up from the image and just see the image. So we start here, go up to the left, go down, left again, and then to the right of the clusters. Okay, I'm going to go for a practice run now, and I'm sorry if I do really badly, but, you know, <laughs> this is, uh, you, you don't get it right every time. So, uh, let me just see if I can do any good. Okay. That, this is, this is going badly. <laughs> okay, 56. Okay. What you want to be aiming for is actually 56. Uh, but obviously, you want to get better than 56, but the minimum you should get is 56. If you don't get 56, I'm quite sure you will not have a chance of getting a high score. And, um, uh, it's not going too badly right now. Ah, there you go, see? It just starts. <laughs> it all starts with one click. Uh, it, I found this very frustrating, because actually, if you just click badly once like that, um, then your whole game is just messed up, and it's just too bad, you know? So, right. Ah, that one always gets me. Okay, uh, atch, oops, I started with the wedding ring. Oh, well. Okay, and the star is one. Ah, 57. Well, uh, I hope that helped you, and uh, hopefully uh, you will do well and do your team proud. Uh, proud? Proud? <laughs> uh, yeah, I look forward to more editing room clips and Revelistic, and I will upload more videos. Hopefully, there's, you know, these games will come out, and as they do come out, I'm probably not going to release them on the day they come out, because. I think that there should be some teamwork involved and an aspect of teamwork and, you know, communicating with your team to find these levels. But obviously now everyone knows the answers already. And this is just basically for new people who don't know and really want to find out who are getting really frustrated because it did take me a couple of hours. But I'll tell you this, the the actual finding of the images isn't the hard part. The it's actually the uh the the technique and trying to get the highest score, that's the the real hard part. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks again, and goodbye.